One of the most interesting new directions of stress research is taking the effects of stress down to a nuts and bolts level of how cells work, how genes work, that half a dozen years ago nobody could have imagined. The once unimaginable genetic structures called telomeres, which protect the ends of our chromosomes from fraying. As we age, our telomeres shorten. What's interesting is stress by way of stress hormones can accelerate the shortening of telomeres. Uh, so the assumption is for the exact same aged guys, if you're a low ranking guy who's just marinating in stress hormones, your telomeres are gonna be shorter. So how does this formidable finding apply to us? San Rafael, California. Once a week, Janet Lawson keeps a very important appointment. She joins other mothers who share circumstances that produce chronic, unremitting stress. Yeah, so, but she loses her balance, and that's the scary part. So we just went out, actually, last night and bought a new helmet, just for fun. And then as she's getting older and wanting more independence, it's getting harder. Each of these women I've been is I mother to a disabled child. And for us, my son's only eight, and, and there's enough I can handle, and I don't allow myself to go too much out. I can't. I had a friend recently who said to me, you know, I think you really should consider putting Lexi in a home. Mm -hmm. And um, that was really stressful in and of itself to think, wow. So, sorry. No, don't be sorry, honey. So I was like, wow, how could you even say that? She's, you know, a little girlfriend. She's, um, even though she can't really communicate, she loves she loves. She loves. She loves. She loves. These remarkable women came to the attention of biologist Dr. Elizabeth Blackburn. I didn't directly know the individuals, but I know the stories. I'm a mother myself, and so when I heard about this cohort, I really thought it was worthwhile finding out what really is happening at the, at the heart of the cells in these mothers who are doing such a difficult thing for such a long time. Dr. Blackburn is a leader in the field of telomere research. We have 46 chromosomes and they're capped off at each end by telomeres. Nobody knew in humans whether telomeres and their fraying down over life would be affected by chronic stress and so we decided we would look at this cohort of chronically stressed mothers and we decided to ask what's happening to their telomeres and to the maintenance of their telomeres. What we found was the length of the telomeres directly relates to the amount of stress somebody is under and the number of years that they've been under the stress. Such stressed mothers became the focus of a study by Dr. Blackburn's colleague, psychologist Alyssa Eppel. Mothers of young children are a highly stressed group. They're often balancing competing demands like work and child rearing um, and often don't have time to take care of themselves. So if you add on top of that the extra burden of caring for a child with special needs, it can be overwhelming. It can tax the very reserves that sustain people. And if they're stressed, if they report stress, they tend to die earlier. These women have shortened telomeres, decreased activity of this enzyme, and very, very rough number for every year you were taking care of a chronically ill child, you got roughly six years worth of aging. This is real. This is not just somebody whining. This is real medically serious aging going on, and we can see that it's actually caused by the chronic stress. But there is hope. Dr. Blackburn co-discovered an enzyme, telomerase, that can repair the damage. It's what I always call it, the threat of hope. <laughs> <laughs> Preliminary data suggests that, that a meeting of minds but such as this autistic, may actually you, have a health benefit by stimulating the healing effects of telomerase. About it. And laugh. And laugh. If laugh. you don't, if you don't laugh, forget it. You can't handle it. It's. it's what I found is that the humor is something, it, there's a certain level of black humor that we have about our kids that only we appreciate. We are the only ones who get the jokes, and in a way, we're the only ones who are allowed to laugh at the jokes. One of the questions in the stress field is, 
You know, what are the active ingredients that reduce stress and that promote longevity? And compassion and, and caring for others may be one of those most important ingredients. So those may be the factors that promote longevity and increase telomerase and keep our cells rejuvenating and regenerating. So perhaps connecting with and helping others can help us to mend ourselves and maybe even live longer, healthier lives.